Now, quadrilateral are basically of two types, convex quadrilateral and concave quadrilateral. Now, you must be thinking we've seen something similar in case of mirrors, convex mirrors and concave mirrors, right? So what is the difference between convex and concave quadrilateral? Well, the difference lies in the measure of angles, right? In a convex quadrilateral, what happens is that each angle is less than 180 degree. So you may have some quadrilateral like this, you may have it like this, you may have it like this, okay? So while one of the angles might be more than 90 degree or whatever, but none of the angles is 180 degree or more, right? So these are basically your convex quadrilaterals. In case of concave quadrilaterals, what happens is that in case of concave quadrilaterals, one of the angles is more than 180 degree. Okay. So how would such a thing look like? Let's say for example, you had something like this, right? Now this quadrilateral also has four sides, one, two, three, four, right? If you notice this particular side, which is, let's call it as x degree, is greater than 180 degree. If you notice this particular angle of a quadrilateral, let's call it as x degree is greater than 180 degree, right? Because if you draw a straight line, let's say like this, this portion will be 180 degree, but this is more than 180 degree. So these are the concave quadrilateral. Simultaneous to this is also the concept of the interior and exterior of a quadrilateral. The area covered within the four lines is known as the interior of a quadrilateral. Okay. Whereas, the area outside the quadrilateral is known as the exterior of quadrilateral. So, let's say you had certain points. The points marked in yellow are all lying within the interior of the quadrilateral. Whereas, if you notice about these points, these are all lying in the exterior. of a quadrilateral, right? 